Hello everybody, this is James Reeves again, giving you all the picks each week on the NFL games. Uh, this week we are on week 12. Uh, last week I was 9-5. and five. Um, Had a huge upset with the Rams beating the Broncos. Uh, not too bad, 9-5. and five. I hope to do a little bit better this week. Uh, it is week 12 and we're going to start with Thursday Night Football. It's the Kansas City Chiefs going to Oakland. Uh, the Chiefs have won their last five. They're a hot team. Oakland, still the worst team in the NFL. Zero wins. I think Chiefs will definitely have what it takes to go down to Oakland and get this win on the road. I choose the Chiefs on Thursday Night Football. Our next game, Cleveland in Atlanta. This is an interesting one. Cleveland had a huge loss against the Texans last week. Didn't play very good at all. Um... Atlanta got a big win against Carolina. It's in Atlanta, but I think the Browns are going to bounce back. I think they're a real good team. I think they are serious. Uh, their defense is great. That backfield is real good. I think that Matt Ryan's going to throw a few picks, and the Cleveland's going to win this tight game. I give this one to Cleveland on the road. Next game, the Jets going to Buffalo. Uh, Michael Vick will be starting again for the Jets. They got their big win two weeks ago against the Steelers. Uh, they had a bye week last week. This is a pretty good team with Michael Vick on the center, but Buffalo's defense is way too good. Um, I think Michael Vick, he's, he's done a good job, but he won't be able to make it through this defense. It's very underrated defense, one of the best in the AFC. I think Buffalo has what it takes to stop Michael Vick and the defense is just too good. I have to give this one to Buffalo at home. Tampa Bay in Chicago. Tampa Bay had a surprising dominating win against the Redskins last week. Of course, that's not too much of a great thing, but Chicago got a big win finally. Uh, it's in Chicago. We saw some very positive things between Cutler and Marshall. I think. Bears offense is too good to pass up to choose this one for the Bears. Tampa Bay, they may have had a big win last week, but I think they'll do their usual thing. They'll come in Chicago, play poorly, have some turnovers, and Chicago will get this one at home. The Bengals against the Texans. I'm going to go with a surprise here. I'm going to choose the Texans over the Bengals, even after the Bengals... Had a huge win against the Saints. I think they just had a really good game. And I don't think they'll play that well on the road to the Texans. Ryan Mallett had his first start ever last week. Uh, he did get the victory over Browns. Uh, the Texans' run game has been awesome. I can't wait to see them rushing it up against uh, the Bengals. And I don't think they'll be able to stop the run game. They, they move the chain so well, and I think I'm going to give this one to Ryan Mallett again. Texans get a huge win at home over the Bengals. Jaguars going to Indianapolis. Uh, of course, you know Andrew Luck, the number one passer in the league, over 3,000 yards. Uh, they did have lose, a loss against the Patriots, at, as expected. Uh, Jacksonville still only won one single game. I'm going to give this one to the Colts at home. Andrew Luck is just too good. He's going to throw a lot of yards up. And he'll have another game throwing over 300 yards again. Andrew Luck and the Colts get this one done. Green Bay in Minneapolis. Green Bay is, I think, Super Bowl bound. They dominated the Eagles in Chicago two weeks straight. Green Bay is too good. Aaron Rodgers over 120 quarterback rating. They're not only winning, they're dominating. And they're going to go and side Minnesota and get this win, a big win again. There's no way Minnesota is going to stop the Aaron Rodgers and Packers. Green Bay is get this win on the road. The Lions going up to the Patriots. Uh, I think... There's no way Patriots are going to lose. I mean, you just don't go up to, to Gillette Stadium and beat the Patriots. It's just not going to happen. 
as Peyton Manning that, it's just not going to happen. And the Lions had a big loss against the Cardinals. Even with the Cardinals backup quarterback, the Lions are good, but they are not going up to Gillette and beating the Patriots. Patriots could just win a big win at home. Tennessee going to the Eagles. Um, definitely choosing the Eagles on this one. They have not lost at home all year. Uh, they're a great offense. They're still a great team, even with Mark Sanchez in there. I think they'll definitely get this done against one of the poorest teams in the NFL. Uh, Six-rounder, rookie, still in at their quarterback, Zach Manberger. He won't be able to get this win. Eagles get it at home for sure. One of the most interesting ones, St. Louis in San Diego. St. Louis, huge win against Peyton Manning and the Broncos last week. They're the most unpredictable team. You never know what's going to happen with St. Louis. San Diego, they've been slacking. They did beat the Oakland last week, but I would love this. I'm going to go ahead and say St. Louis gets this one on the road. Uh, they played so good against the uh, Broncos. Their defense is ready to win now, and I think the defense will get this game won just like they did last week against Peyton Manning. It's going to be an exciting game, but I think the defense for the Rams will win this game for St. Louis on the road against Phil Rivers and the Chargers. Rams get this done. Arizona at Seattle. Of course, we know how every home game in Seattle goes. Uh, I'm choosing Arizona because they are still the number one team in the NFL. They're 9-1. and one. Even with the backup quarterback, they beat the 7-2 Lions last week. It's the same thing is going to happen as last year. Arizona is going to go into Seattle and shock them. Even with the Seahawks going to the Super Bowl last year, they still stopped Seattle, one of the very few teams that could. And they're going to do it again this year. Arizona on the road to Seattle. Cardinals will get this game done. The Dolphins in Denver. I think Peyton Manning will definitely get his groove back and put up some numbers. Uh... I don't think two games straight he'll get big losses like that. Broncos is a great team. Uh, definitely don't count against them. I think Denver will get this done in Denver. Miami is a great team. Good defense. Offense won't be able to handle this new Denver defense this year. And I think that's the reason why Denver will get this done is because of their defense. Not because of Paint Manning. I got Broncos winning this one at home. Redskins against the 49ers. This is a pretty easy one. Tampa Bay destroyed the Redskins. RG3 is doing terrible. He doesn't want to be there. They don't want him there. It's a terrible thing in Washington right now. Uh, I feel sorry for the fans that have to bear through this. But they're going to go in San Francisco and probably get dominated by this offense. 49ers defense got healthy players coming back. It's not going to be pretty for Redskins. We're in high school, this one at home for sure. Dallas going into New York to play the Giants. Dallas still a pretty good team. Great run game. No matter if Tony Rome was there or not. DeMarco Murray is still a great player. He still can run the ball. And Giants defense is very dead last in the NFL. Ranked 32 I think that will definitely come into play. Uh, Cowboys should put up some good numbers. And I don't think Eli... Five interceptions last week. It's just not going to happen. Dallas has this one on the road for sure. In our Monday night game, it's the Ravens going down to New Orleans. Very interesting. Uh, Saints did get blown up by the Bengals last week. Ravens just had a bye week. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this one for the Ravens on the road. Um, they've had a whole week off the study of the Saints. Bengals came down and blew them out. I think the Ravens are a good enough team that they'll come down and get the big win here. They have a surprise run game, even after Ray Rice is not there anymore. Justin Forsett's doing a great job. The whole O-line is doing a good job. And Brandon Cooks for the Saints isn't playing. One of their speed receivers. I think Ravens have this one in the bag. I think they'll go down and get this big win that they very much need in our division, the, the best division in the NFL. Ravens get this one on the road. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, 
it's been a fun, fun season. I can't wait till next week. Uh, it, it is week 13. We've got some great games, and I will see you guys then. Thank you very much.